So Kazani and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, now you do. My name is Nell and in today's video, as you ladies and gents can see by the title, I am going to be speaking about the importance of cleansing. Now I know I've been gone for quite some time, you know, I kind of put a pause on posting my African spirituality videos um, due to, you know, I felt that I wasn't, you know, providing um enough information to you ladies and gents and as a matter of fact i actually made a video on uh what the importance of cleansing just a few months ago and i felt that the video did not really have enough information so hence in today's video i am going to be doing a part two of that video ensuring that i provide um information that was left out on the previous video without wasting any time on the intro i would like to get into the video but before i do so just a quick reminder please do not forget to subscribe to my channel give my video a thumbs up and also check me out on my social media platform Today we're going to be talking about the importance of cleansing now please excuse me because i'll be looking down from time to time i actually have some notes jotted down here as i said i did my research i made sure that um this time around i'm going to provide content that has so much information and hopefully will be helpful to most of you now the purpose of this video is to practically just give you informative information on what cleansing is and why it is important First thing first, what is cleansing? Now, I did some research, I jotted down some notes here, and I am going to try to explain what cleansing is as best as I can possibly explain. So according to me, I feel as though cleansing is a process that one undergoes in order to remove all the unwanted energies in your life. So say for instance, one might feel that things are not going well into their life, and hence they might need a cleansing. In most cases, those kind of cleansing are the ones that helps one get back on track. Okay, why is cleansing important? I think I've pretty much kind of explained that on the definition of what cleansing is. So the reason why cleansing is important according to me is that I believe that it removes all the unwanted energies into your life. So say sometimes that you know things are really not going well in, in your life and you don't understand what is going on and you practically like go through the process of cleansing i believe that it removes all those unwanted energies at the end of the day ensuring that you get back on track and move on properly with your so life now one thing you know that kind of annoys me at times is that you know you get people who text me or dm me on instagram and just say god god things are not going well in my life hence i need a cleansing so according to me i believe that it is important for one to first consult with someone in order to you know be sure whether they need to do cleansing or not because you find that some other times you know one might just decide to do a cleansing and things just don't you know go back to normal so i think it is very important for one to ensure that they consult with someone they truly trust you know find a spiritual guide or find someone who is spiritually inclined or find someone that um is spiritually gifted that will be able to tell you maybe the kind of cleansing you need or whether you need a cleansing or not sometimes you might think that you need cleansing kind is not cleansing it's something else so it is important for one to ensure that they consult with someone in order to um make sure that it is cleansing that they actually need again we have different types of um cleansing right um the different kinds of cleansing that one can undergo in different situation depending on what has happened what is happening in your life what you want to see in your life and all of that Again, as I said, it is important for one to ensure that they consult with someone who is, you know, knowledgeable on these kind of things so that they can guide you properly um, on what kind of cleansing you actually need. So I'm just going to give you examples of the kind of cleansing that I know, personally, I know. We have cleansing, you know, the new year resolution kind of cleansing. I say new year kind, um, resolution kind of cleansing because I don't know what we call it like in English. So I'm just going to say new year resolution kind of cleansing. Um, we have removal of bad energy cleansing we have love cleansing termination of pregnancy cleansing we have separation of, um from a partner cleansing we also have death cleansing as well as love cleansing so we have a lot of cleansing that is why i say that it is important for one to ensure that they consult with a traditional healer or someone that is knowledgeable on these kind of things to ensure that they undergo the right kind of cleansing with these types of um kinds of cleansing that i've explained if you one has experienced these kind of things maybe you know you've gone through death in your family you've gone through you know um the miscarriage phase if you've gone through you know love problems you know you want to remove all those kind of things sometimes it's 
you really not about consulting per se but if you know that you've gone through those kind of things that i would suggest that see someone that can best help you now i am going to explain each of these cleansing and um why it is important to go for a cleansing once something happens into your life the first one is the new year resolution kind of cleansing i don't know what to call it in english i really don't know i'm just gonna call it that so what that is basically is you know every year you find people who you know um go through the process of cleansing you know they take their families or you know find a spiritual guide that takes them maybe to a sacred place where they do a cleansing that is just to basically um thank their ancestors their ancestors for a year the previous year and again ask for a new year you know so that is the kind of cleansing that people undergo at times so with this one specifically it does not really need a consultation you just go maybe to someone you know or you know some people just do it by themselves in the family where they just you know you know go maybe to a specific river or a specific place where they do this process just to basically cleanse themselves preparing from them preparing themselves for a new year i'm sorry about that <laughs> so the next one is the removal of bad energy now that needs consultation so what one basically does is that you go consult with a traditional healer maybe they might tell you that okay this and this and this and this is wrong you know maybe um this has happened in your life hence you need to cleanse it and you know one thing that i like about consulting with someone is that they give you the specific tools to use in order to undergo that um cleansing so for instance i'm just going to make an example one might tell you that maybe you need a white chicken maybe you need candles maybe you need this and this and this it depends it varies from culture to culture and traditional healer to traditional healer and again um from situation to situation so that is why it is important to ensure that you consult with someone so we have the removal of bad energy consult with someone then they tell you your situation and then they tell you okay this is what we're gonna do we're going to um undergo a process of cleansing this is what we're gonna do and ensure that you feel comfortable with doing that okay yeah so the next one that i want to touch on is the love cleansing now i know some of you are just looking at me like child what is that like am i talking about beggar meaning yet or something like that no i'm not talking about that so um at times you find people that are not really lucky in finding love that's what i'm gonna say i'm, I'm just going to try to explain this as best as i can possibly explain it especially in english you know so yeah um, you find people that, you know, are not really lucky when coming to, you know, finding love and all that. You find that that's something that had occurred or something that had happened or there's an energy, a specific energy that they're carrying around with them um, that is actually preventing them from finding um, love or being happy and all that. So that is the kind of cleansing that, you know, one needs to go in order to remove that thing that... Um, is overshadowing you in order to find um, love or find someone that will be your partner. That is the kind of cleansing that I'm discussing. Right Next now. one is the miscarriage cleansing. I'm not really going to go much into detail about this, you know, uh, especially the miscarriage one and the termination of pregnancy one, because, you know, those are sensitive topics that I don't really um, like to touch on a lot. You understand? So with those kind of situations, one actually needs to go find a traditional healer again, consult with them. They will tell you what you need to do. So ladies, it is very important to undergo cleansing in these kind of situations in order to remove, again, the energy that you're carrying around with you at all, at times, you understand? So you find that sometimes, you know, one is constantly, you know, losing baby after baby after baby after baby without actually understanding. So in most cases, cleansing can help. So it depends, again, consult with someone who is going to be able to guide you properly in this. You know, I know I'm going to emphasize a lot on this. Ensure that anyone that you consult with is someone that you trust and someone that you know um you truly feel that is supposed to help you at that point in time i don't know if i explained that probably but hey <laughs> yeah so the next one that i'm going to be discussing is a separation from a partner now i'm just going to touch on this one again um you know as people right you might know there are soul ties and all those kind of things and again where people you know we carry energies around with us right so it is important that whenever you leave someone especially someone that you've been with for a very long time to undergo a process of cleansing in order to ensure that the bits and pieces or the energy that you two have exchanged are actually you know um lifted off your shoulders you know you're no longer carrying the burden that you used to carry or the burden that they're carrying so cleansing is very important as i say we're people we carry energies with us all the time so it is important that whenever you separate from someone a partner or 
someone that you've been with for a very long time undergo um undergo cleansing in order to remove the energies that you two have exchanged again this one kind of goes hand in hand with soul ties but i'm not going to be talking about soul ties today i'm going to be discussing that in the next videos to come but um that is the kind of thing that i actually wanted to touch on so the last one is the death cleansing right so you find that there's death that had occurred in the family i mean some of you might actually know these kind of things um where you find that someone has passed on in the family and maybe a traditional healer is called you know maybe you all as a family are called into one room and there's a specific traditional healer that is doing cleansing on you or maybe you're given um specific herbs in order to you know use to wash in order to remove those kind of energies it is very important as we all know death is not really a nice thing you know um it carries around a lot of um negative energy if i may say death does carry um negative energies at times so it is very important for you to undergo cleansing in order to ensure that um you avoid some of the you know spiritual attacks or some of the things that you know you could easily just avoid so you can actually go through the process of cleansing this is the end of the video i think i tried to explain as much as i could possibly explain uh just jotted down some notes here i did some of my research there and there you know just to ensure that you ladies and gents enjoy this video and hopefully take some of the important notes from this video now thank you so much for watching and i hope you ladies and gents enjoyed uh till next time <laughs> i'm out